Funding for Greater Chattanooga is provided by EPB Fiber Optics. So these are the steps that went up to the Tom Thumb Miniature Golf Course. Garnet Carter grew up on Lookout Mountain. He was a visionary and an early entrepreneur in Chattanooga, and uh, he developed the, the Fairyland Club. So you can imagine hitting a golf ball up on a uh, green painted cotton seed hole surface and having a hole up there. This is where Tom Thumb was. Now it's the middle of a road. What a man, what an entrepreneur. One of America's greatest golf architects, a man named Seth Rayner, had been hired to build this wonderful golf course on top of Lookout Mountain. But he had a stroke and he passed away. So the golf course construction was interrupted. So he uh, conceived the idea to create a, a miniature version of it. You know, miniature golf started in the latter 1800s, and probably for the first 30 or 40 years, it was played strictly with a skill base. There were no obstacles to speak of. Uh, in many cases, they were played on dirt. Frida really wanted to create this fantasy fairyland at the Fairyland Inn. So she came up with the name Tom Thumb Miniature Golf. Frida really used the idea of theming Tom Thumb Miniature Golf with what is a tradition in Germany of garden gnomes. When Tom Thumb Golf came around, they were the first to say, let's try and make it a little more fun. Let's decorate the course. Let's put some obstacles in the course that they actually have to putt around. So now that even though I'm limited in space, I can make a more interesting game because now I can have something in the way that I have to negotiate around as compared to just a straight putt in every course. Some of the obstacles that Garnet Carter used were hollow logs. The existing rock formations that are still at the Fairyland Club. But all of those ideas were inspired by Frida Uttermullen Carter, the love of Garnet Carter's life. They were a remarkable team. I think that she inspired him to a, to a great extent. Once he built his golf course, he thought, this is so much fun, other people are gonna love it, and they did. This was so successful that Mr. Carter franchised the, uh, the, the course. Some of these miniature golf courses were put on rooftops. Some were put on vacant lots in between skyscrapers in major cities. And because it has that wide ability to hit all different ages, it's very conducive for a family to go out there and play as a group, even if none of them ever picked up regulation golf clubs. It was during World War II. My dad, my mother, my brother and I uh, were given a two week vacation by my dad. We went to Farrowland Club. I think it maybe cost 25 cents and it had holes. You got a golf club and a golf ball. And my mother, who was far from being a sports addict, uh, played good sport about it. And my little brother could play. We played enough. I don't remember whether we even paid. <laughs> so. We are a, a city of entrepreneurs and visionaries and, and creators. We're, we're the, a maker city. 
I think Garnet Carter's legacy is the entrepreneurial spirit of America. Even today, here we are 60 years later, 70 years later from when uh, Mr. Carter actually created Tom Thumb Golf, uh, we're one of the few that highly focus on our miniature golf side on a themed version miniature golf. But that entrepreneurial spirit is very much alive in our company. And I think, you know, what Carter did years ago with miniature golf was kind of the start of that niche in the entertainment industry. And we're very much a part of that today. Thank you.